Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going bald or if it's one of those things I find on my dog. <laughs> Well, I thought I'd give you an update on how my flu is going this week. I've had the flu all week, but it's clearing right up. All that's left is some snot. <laughs> and, and this. I'm quite concerned about that. I never noticed that before. I also, I noticed that when I was standing like that, that you were checking out my ass. And that makes me feel... <laughs> suspicious. I don't know, actually. I'm very worried about my hair falling out. It's going to start a whole new level of psychosis for me. Maybe I should start wearing a yarmulke. But, Greg, you're not Jewish. No, but... But it'll buy me a little time. <laughs> I think if I start to go bald, I'm just gonna shave it all off. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, do those wig things. <laughs> what are they called again? Donald Trump's hair. How did it start, dude? I had kids. <laughs> That's right, blame your kids. Oh, yeah, we're out of time. Uh, good night, everybody. <laughs> Uh, we'll take a break. Uh, I'll call the hair club for men, and uh, when we come back, I'll probably be wearing a wig. <laughs> Lake Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's. See what's new on Applebee's 2 for 20 menu. Classics you love and new flavors you crave. Sit down, relax, let your her applause die away quite naturally. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. It sounded so convincing. It was almost as if you were not being paid in candy. <laughs> Sometimes I feel they're faking it. <laughs> Do you know what's so naughty of me? I don't care. I don't care if they're faking it as long as I enjoy myself. <laughs> Does that make me bad? Does that make me naughty? Because if that makes me naughty, then smack me! <laughs> I'm 
creeping myself out tonight. <laughs> hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. It is. Are you ready for America? It is a great day. Of course, and here's why. Because it is Friday. And there's big news out of Delaware. There's going to be a debate next week uh, between the Senate candidates there. This is the first debate for the anti-masturbation witch candidate. <laughs> the, uh, the uh, Christina Donald. She must be very nervous. If there was only some way to release all that tension. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know the the, uh, the Waldorf Astoria, the big fancy hotel in New York, is the latest place to be invested, 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 <laughs> invested with bed bugs. They're investing them with bed bugs. Give me twenty bed bugs. They, no, they've got the bed bugs there. And when the Waldorf Astoria gets bed bugs, they're fancy. They drink your blood, but they lift up all their little pinkies. <laughs> Also, bed bugs found this week in several government buildings in Washington, D.C. I'm like, I can't believe they have to deal with those dirty, blood sucking pests, those poor bed bugs. Ah, <laughs> you see what I did? I turned it around! Love it. Thanks, Jeffrey Peterson. I turned it around. You were like, Craig, what are you? Oh, you. I could do this all night. <laughs> you might have to. There's a big new movie out today, uh, Secretaria. It's about the greatest horse race ever. Uh, race horse ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I got myself going when I did that. <sighs> and I haven't been able to concentrate since. Anyway, I'm anti-masturbation. <laughs> Why stop now? <laughs> I can change my mind. That's my prerogative. <laughs> anyway, with the Secretariat movies coming out, and the trailer looks very exciting, especially when Secretariat hits his full stride. Take a look at this. In frenzied excitement, he eats up the ground. He paws fiercely, rejoicing in his strength, and charges into the fray. There you go, Secretary. Now, I know. <laughs> I hope that I hope this movie explains why they named the horse Secretariat. Were well, they hoping he'd grow up to become a secretary? Because <laughs> that'd make an amazing movie. A horse would a horse would be a terrible secretary. Of course, they can't type with their hooves. And, uh, they don't look good in a little skirt. <laughs> it hurts when they sit in your lap. <laughs> I wonder how this, uh, I wonder how this movie will keep the suspense up, because you know he's going to win the race. He's Secretariat. It's not like you're going, oh, I wonder what happens at the end of the movie. He wins the race. <laughs> will Secretariat win? Yes. <laughs> Now, if it was a different animal that they had in the horse races, I'd be excited. If it was a racing ferret or something, I'd be in line right now. If you know anything about me, you know I love ferrets. <laughs> Do we have a picture of me with my ferrets? The Secretariat movie is directed by the guy who wrote Braveheart, so he has experience working with animals. And Secretariat... <laughs> oh, 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 that's right, wait a minute, wait, wait, now let's, let's just examine this, yeah, let's ooh me, let's ooh me. I'm the one driving drunk on the PCH, it's me, oh yeah, it's me, the drunken anti-Semite, me. Don't you hear me, you bastards! <laughs> Do we have a picture of me with my ferrets? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Secretary.
Secretariat. Anyway, Secretariat is what we're talking about. It's a great story. You know the Secretariat got his own postage stamp in 1999, and coincidentally, he was also the glue on the back. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Let's ooh me. Let's ooh me. I'm the one who... You're right, that was too far. You should... You were right to ooh me there. I don't normally agree with the ooing, but that was the correct thing to ooh. I, I feel terrible. I feel so awful. If only I were home in the company of my ferrets. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough, everybody. Please don't show that picture again. <laughs> Secretariat, of course, was famous for winning the Triple Crown. That's uh, uh, composed of three races, the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness Stakes, and the uh, Indy 500. Uh, <laughs> I like the Kentucky Derby. That's the one where all the ladies wearing the beautiful hats. Oh, sometimes I, should, well, I wish I was a lady. I'd wear a beautiful hat. <laughs> Even, even though I'm not a lady, I sometimes wear a beautiful hat anyway. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing tonight. Or, uh, what's going on? Love it. I, uh, I don't know. It's a time. Hey, Daddy O, let's dig some spots. <laughs> Is that some kind of vague request for a commercial break? Do this all oh. night. <laughs> we have to take a uh, mercy. <laughs> we have to take a mercy and. There's a lot of stone people very worried about what just happened. We'll be right back, everybody. Acumen. A letter, please. Thank you. No way, plastic fish on a stick. This uh, letter reads, uh, if I can see through the water, uh, Dear Aquaman, my boyfriend would rather spend time on his new iPhone than with me. What should I do? Simple! Give him an ultimatum and then prepare to live the rest of your life alone. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, you know, Aquaman's got nice hair, hasn't he? <laughs> Don't be surprised if, if maybe on Monday when we get back from the weekend, I've got Aquaman hair. <laughs> All right, um, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Tweets and emails, Craig. <laughs> knock, knock. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? Tweet mails. Tweet, tweet mails, yeah. In your In pants. In your pants, yeah. Play the thing, yeah. Know me all bitter, cause you ain't a quitter. And I'm your babysitter. Check your damn Twitter. Yeah, complete. And also emails. 
Thanks. Thanks, little Bob Dylan. <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Joshua in Santa Barbara, California. It says, Dear Craig, I'm attending my first wedding this weekend. Well, that's, that's, it's not the way you say it. You say it's my only wedding, is what you say. I'm attending my first wedding this weekend. Oh, you're, prob you're just a guest. I get it, yeah. You don't want to get married and have kids, because apparently that makes you bald. <laughs> anyway, uh, Joshua in Santa Barbara, California, says, Dear Craig, I'm attending my first wedding this weekend, and I heard it's a good place to meet single girls. Any tips on picking up the ladies? Yeah, nothing women like better than a thick head of hair. <laughs> In your pants. <laughs> You're awesome, Jeff. All right, this is from uh, Lana in Salt St. Marie in uh, Michigan. Um, she says, uh, Craig, my best friend Jackie thinks this guy was hitting on her when we went out to a club on Saturday, but I know for sure he was hitting on me because he texted me. Should I tell her? Oh, what is this? Ooh, la, la. Jersey Shore. <laughs> You're welcome, Sylvia the Censor, who was so excited that last night I did a whole show without cussing, but tonight, apparently not. <laughs> Sorry, Sylvia. All right, uh, this is from uh, Mike and uh, Blaine in uh, America, uh, who says, Dear Craig, my roommates and I ask, uh, my roommates and I ask, how does one get annoying people in quiet study areas to shut up? That's what it says. My roommates and I ask, how does one get annoying people in quiet study areas to shut up? I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps one could get one's butler to go over and shush them. I say, Scrotum, come here, would you? Scrotum, could you go over there and shush these people? Right away, my lord. I've been shushing people in this family since your father was a boy. I don't know. How about you just, um... Ah, uh, burst. If I knew anything about quiet study areas, I wouldn't be doing this job. <laughs> um, this is from Chuck in Champaign, Illinois. Oh. Um, he says, uh, Dear Craig, my physics professor is hot, but I'm not doing well in the class. How can I impress her? Do well in the class. <laughs> thing that very rarely works with academic women. Hey, baby. Mm. Ooh, I think I got me a Van de Graaff generator. Ooh, electricity. Oh, I'm a physics professor. That suddenly made me feel like I want to have sex with you. You person that's bad at physics. <laughs> who cares about physics when I can have sex with someone who's not good at physics? <laughs> See where I'm going with this? <laughs> All right, we have to take a break. When we come back, I'm going to be wearing some kind of hairpiece. Welcome back to the show where, um... <laughs> same old, same old, nothing. Nothing going on here. <laughs> um... 
I'm very excited about my next guest being here. <laughs> I am. She's very lovely. She's done lots of interesting things, and she's um, very attractive. <laughs> Come here, Ron. <laughs> See the thing that tells you about the guest, it's not working. <laughs> just, just so as you know. Anyway, Marilyn Rice go up, everyone. Mary What's up? Hey, How man, are you? What's going on? Hey, welcome to the show that where we appeal to young people. Woo! I love the way your hair goes over your ears. Thanks very much. I, uh, Stop. Oh, that's better. I don't think I'll be able to do this. Um, I like your short haircut. Do you think you yeah. like it better? Do, yeah. do you mind bald man following you? <laughs> no, I appreciate it. It makes me feel hot and sexy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I like when people go, woo! You don't Hot like... Hot lady! I really want to... Have sex with you! you. Yeah. yeah! I like it. I think when guys slow down their cars and go, uh, uh, at women in the street, I always think, what do you think is going to happen here? Like, a woman's going to go, oh. oh, wow, your car's going to horn! So long, loser husband! That's actually how I met my husband. Really? So your husband said, has a car. Said, uh, "Hey, <laughs> excuse me." <laughs> your husband has a car. Uh, yes. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Look at you, swanky pants. I yeah. know. I'm pretty stuck up now. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> are, you still do, are you still doing that uh, show? I'm still doing the show. What's it called again? Maryland spreads her legs. <laughs> 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 do you think that title is provocative enough? Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really is what happens when you spread your legs. <laughs> the, the story of the yeah, show. Yeah, it's a story about having a baby, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like the, you have, and then a baby comes. Yeah. Would you have sex with a guy that had uh, no hair? Oh, we're back to the the. I'm old, very concerned uh, about it. I think I'm going bald. I like it when I don't know what you do in between, but I think right when it gets to a certain point, you just shave it all off. And right. I, I appreciate I should, that. Do you think I, I should do that now? I support men that do that. So, yeah. Right. I should go, you don't go have now. Have much left. No, you're right. Go now. I can't even see your hair. <laughs> Where is it? I was saying the opposite because you have a fantastic head of hair. I I think what maybe I will do is get hair tattooed on. <laughs> You should get extensions with a, just a beachy, uh, a beachy bottom. Beachy bottom? Yeah. Isn't it's that where like... SpongeBob lives? <laughs> um, Do you enjoy SpongeBob? I... And by that I mean marijuana. No, but the first guy I was in love with did grow hydroponic pot in his closet, and it kind of blew my mind because I didn't even really know what pot was. And I still didn't when he showed me. When did you figure it out? Well, then there were some other neighborhood guys who would play Dungeons and Dragons and smoke pot in the basement, and I kind of figured it out after a while. I put two and two together. You hung with a pretty racy crowd by the sound of it. I know. Dungeons and Dragons, potted basements? Yeah. Do you like our physics? I... I love physics. So if you love, are you good at physics? Do you know a lot about physics? Uh, I know how to boil an egg. That's, I, that's, that's uh, cooking. Physics. No, that's cooking. That's very, there are it? physics involved, Craig. Well, okay, yeah, I guess. I know about displacement of water. Uh, oh, pardon me, <laughs> Professor. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> it's not the science channel, you know. <laughs> I know that uh, well, how fast does a feather fall in a brick if you're out of a plane? <laughs> how fast is that then? Same distance. Same distance, yeah. But what if there's wind? Just a little bit faster. <laughs> um, here's what I would 
say if I had tried to prepare any stories at all for tonight. Okay. So I read in the news the other day that scientists discovered that we only know one-fifth of everything that's under the ocean. Well, how do they know that? If they only know one-fifth, then they know that there's four-fifths you know nothing about, which implies to me that they think, oh, we know more than we know. That's that exactly what I thought. Yeah, that's crazy. That's what I was going to say. Like, they're sitting around going, like, oh, we got it all figured out. It's like, who, they're so stuck up. Oh, I'll tell you, those scientists... Like, really? You thought yeah. you had the entire ocean mapped out? Yeah, and then now we realize we don't. Uh, oh, I... No, don't, we don't. <laughs> the world is full of magic and mystery. <laughs> how, could we, how could we possibly know what's in the ocean? But you put on a scuba mask and go and have a look. Got it covered. Do, do, you, do you enjoy scuba? I once went scuba diving mm. and I thought I was, had no problem with it, but then it's quite unnatural to be breathing underwater. Not for a fish. I don't know. Sci just scientifically speaking, for yeah, humans. Yeah, oh, yeah, for yeah. Humans. For humans, yeah, it's um, unusual. Oh, but I actually had something happened um, that would kind of reference my career and why people know me from television. I was on a boat, or right. on the boat going out there, and I was kind of turning green and a little bit scared because getting ready to do it. Yeah. And the woman came over to me and she knelt down and she said, All you have to do is pretend like Jack Bauer is at the bottom of the ocean yeah. and he needs your help. So, get down there. Did that help? Did it help at all? No. No? Of course not. Because, you know... I punched her in the face. Yeah, you're doing right. Because you'd be like, uh, no, it's Kiefer, and if he's at the bottom of the ocean, it's because he's drunk. Oh, I, don't get me wrong, I, I like Kiefer, but, you know... He knows how to party. He knows how to party. He's, he's not forgotten. I wish I knew how to party. Hey, dun Dungeons and Dragons and a little bit. Of... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's my I'm gonna party face. Oh, yeah. I can't even, I can't do it anymore. I what? can't drink since becoming a mom. No, you're not allowed. No. It's not even fun for me anymore. Nah. I just look at them and well, go, having a, what are they doing? Well, having a baby around it. the house, a toddler, it's like having a, your own little midget drunk. You know, yeah. it's like... You can't, I mean, even two drinks, somebody pulling up your eyeballs and going, wake up, wake up, wake I know, up. It's I know, not, it kind of takes the fun out of it. I know. If you're Does your, your husband do that a lot? Does he? The, uh... <laughs> he knows how to party. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, <clears throat> we're done. We did it again. Yeah, we got to the end. Nailed it. Oh, man, I, I didn't even get what? to this. That's it's amazing. What, are you into some kind of weird medieval sex games? <laughs> I became a witch recently, and a Republican. Really? Bam! Meryl, He's a top NASCAR driver. He's racing in the Pepsi Max 400 uh, Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California on Sunday, October the 10th. He is, of course, Mr. Upside Down in the Air at 200 miles an hour. <laughs> Carl Edwards, everybody. Carl Edwards. Well, and yeah. I um, had a good time talking to uh, Mary Lynn back there. She's oh, you did? Really, she's really nice. Really yeah? Nice. Yeah. You yeah, be careful now, son. I, um, <laughs> I was actually telling you I would have done more live-action role-playing if I'd have known that was... No, no, was in no, the basement no. doing that. No, it's... <laughs> While, the, while you were racing the cars, the cool kids were in the basements I know, playing I Dungeons and Dragons while you yeah. were out there racing cars and flying planes thinking you were just great. You're right. Yeah. How you doing, pal? You all right? I'm good. I still got my hair. That's good. Uh... But... 
I am I am recently married, and I did have my first child. Yeah, so, no, um, I, I remember. It was a congratulations. I, but the, the baby was just born when you yes, were here last yes, time. Yes, she yeah, was. Yeah. What age is she now? She's seven and a half months old. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. That's, Man, it's, uh, a, it's the best thing in the world. I mean, it's unreal. She, uh, she just figured out she can, like, crawl up onto things and walk around, you know, and... This is the baby we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, no, not the people coming out of the basement yeah, that were... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. But, um, <laughs> how, do you, you, you have kids, right? I have one. I've got another one on the way, actually. How hard, how hard can they hit their heads before it's trouble? <laughs> Let me uh, put a couple of qualifiers out. Are yeah. we in the NASCAR or <laughs> not in the NASCAR? No. <laughs> no, she doesn't drive, but no, she... No. Um, yeah, they, a, they, they, really, they bounce around a little she bit. She has yeah. a big head, all right? I haven't talked about this much. I have a big head and my wife... Huge, yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> Did you feel it? Feel no, it. I, I don't want to touch it, man. It's kind of creeping me out. They had to cut my hair before I... They actually gave me a haircut. And I, yeah. I don't know if that was because it... My head might have just looked big now no, that I think I, about it. Well, do you have to have a special helmet made for you? <laughs> Uh, this is really funny, except for on Monday we go to the doctor, to, they're going to measure my daughter's head again just to make sure that it's not too big. And, um, <laughs> they, see, they, 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 they freak you out when the kids are young. They go, oh, look, uh, she's in the, this percentile or that percentile. It, it all catches up. And then, and then when they go to school, they go, first grade, this is the make or break year. Right. Second grade, this is the make or break year. <laughs> just relax, is it amazing that school did not even matter? Like, does that ever strike you? Like, your job, what part of... You know, physics. Does this... Uh, what is this? I mean, look at you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't, I I don't, don't even need okay. to be able to read, because the prompter doesn't... I can have a word. <laughs> there might be kids up. I, school is important. Yeah, it's very, <laughs> very important. <laughs> There's, there's a, you're, a, you're a pilot, right? To yes, pass your pilot's yep. license, you got to know all sorts right. of bits and pieces. Yes. <laughs> it really helps if you're a race car driver and they're like a big fan, though. And yeah. that helps, too. <laughs> but I, I'm a good, I'm a safe pilot. I, I do, and you're right. There are things, you know, that you have to study hard for and, and things that are important. Yeah, well done. But it's not... CBS either, cares, but, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You, I did, I dressed up for you. Yeah, today. you look great, I, man. You, is, look, uh, you look a bit like a cop. <laughs> One of them big head cops. What you got? Uh, it'll what you take got? me a you minute. You alright? Yep, yep. Right. I actually have a badge. Wow, right look there. at that. What's that? What'd you get that? We did not plan this, folks. I'm a reserve deputy for the Boone County Sheriff's Department in central Missouri. So Whoa! Wow. I don't now, you're kind of outside your jurisdiction yes, here, sir. I, 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 I don't show too many people that. Just yeah. the nice officers that pull me over. I, right, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure. But, um, you know you were doing 200 <laughs> there, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the one guy say? Uh, they say the, the speed limit's only 55 miles per hour. He says, well, I wasn't going to be out here that long. <laughs> that's, that's the best one. That's Stephen Wright. Stephen, Stephen Wright, Wright, yeah, 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 yeah I met yeah. here. He's, yeah, yeah, he's, he's cool. got a huge head. <laughs> He, he's one of your kind. <laughs> you started I, I, it, man. You, I, I mean, you started it. that. I, it is. It's big. It's, it's a big no, head. It's a regular size you head. Know what the hell is wrong with you? What they say. You know. what, what big head, giant hat? Uh, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do they say that about the, the head? I, I, I don't, I I don't know. I thought it was about feet. Yeah. <laughs> pretty big pretty feet. Big. Major. You're going to need feet that big to balance that thing, though, eh? <laughs> Because right there, I don't, I don't know. That, no, listen, I don't know much about physics. But what I remember about physics is, if you got a big object here, then you're going to need something. I, I was that guy in physics. I was not. That was pretty funny. It's, it's true, though. I, I, I had a difficulty concentrating when I was at school. But I, I'm all right now. <laughs> You're doing a really good job. The show's doing really well. The show's doing fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't stay up to watch it anymore. No. Because I the don't baby, stay up the baby. to do it anymore. Yeah. Right? <laughs>
Well, you got the baby now. You can't yeah, do the that. Baby. Yeah, and she, she you does watch the Teletubbies? You watching a lot of that? No, she doesn't understand the television just yet. So we don't. Um, she's yeah. We don't watch much TV together. Well, what what do you do then? Well, <laughs> luckily I have a wife, and so she. Uh, you said watch her. <laughs> You should come check that out yeah, sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Her mother is watching. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, man, I mean, uh, no we way. We read the Bible together. Yeah, read the Bible like together. Yeah. We just hang out. I mean, I, it's my first child, so I'm just learning. Everything happens, you know. Y y she started to say, Dad, 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 like all that. And that's just. It's the kid we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, she's not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was Mary Lynn's? television show what oh no this? she's doing this play called what? mary lynn spreads her legs oh. i went to see it and okay. it, there's it's not what you think okay yeah i mean it's funny and everything right. but you know because right. she could spread your legs for a yeah. lot of no, just, just, okay back on the my baby is is great yeah yeah yes. She's so cute. Other than the, she's a little top heavy, like we talked about, but she's. Well, that's she's ba really babies cute. of all. They're all like that. That's what everybody tells yeah, me. And no, then when no, I look at other kids, you know, I notice they're, that they have the same. But she's, she's really, really cool. She, she does the dad dad thing, which yeah. it's not directed to me. It's just no. an easy noise to make. But yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. imagine when she's doing it that she's, you know, just so excited to see me and everything, and that's cool. She waves, and that's. All the big head babies do that. <laughs> is going to be pissed off. Right? No, look, I, no, look, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Her right? head I'm is kidding. It's a joke. The kid's fine. It's a, it's a joke. Barb, I love, I love your granddaughter. Barb, it's and a I, joke. Her head's wonderful. It's a joke. CBS cares, you know? <laughs> and she, but she, everybody thinks she's a boy, too, because she doesn't have any hair on her head yet. So, like that, dude. Yeah. Remind you of anyone? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> In your pants. In your pants, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we gotta go. Uh, <laughs> but it, it is good to be here, and it's good to see you. And we are racing this weekend. Oh, yeah, that's a very right. important race. race. Yeah, our, yeah, it's our, a nice big one, yeah. yeah. Our, our Aflac team is doing well. We're fourth in the points. Right. And we have a shot at the championship. And, um,. And I feel like I got off to a good start here this weekend by coming and visiting you. It's fun. Well, there you go. Yeah, no, it's all good. And just keep this stuff with my baby quiet. Right, let's just yeah, keep no, that we between us. We'll cut it all out. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and if you ever come through Columbia, Missouri, and yeah, you yeah. have any traffic problems or whatever, I can hook you up. I can help no, you up. I might do that, because I do like to drive through Columbia very, very fast. It's a beautiful place. And high. Yeah. <laughs> you... Stop in and hang out in the basement. We'll we'll check it out. We'll check see it. What's up. Play a little Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Carl Edwards, everybody. <laughs>